The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 15, verses 3 to 7. Jesus spoke this parable to the scribes and Pharisees. What man among you, with a hundred sheep, losing one, would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing one till he found it? And when he found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders? And then, when he got home, Call together his friends and neighbors. Rejoice with me, he would say. I have found my sheep that was lost. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over ninety-nine virtuous men who have no need of repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, all the three readings, the first from Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 11 to 16, from Romans chapter 5, verses 5 to 11, and from Luke chapter 15, verses 3 to 7, speak about the matter of the heart. What is the feast of the sacred heart? It is the heart of Jesus Christ which was compassionate towards humans. Not comparing over who is right and who is wrong, but showing mercy towards the sinner, towards the poor, towards the needy. So the Lord is trying to tell us that we have a human nature and that nature is to accommodate everyone in our own heart. Treat others as you would like them to treat you. The Lord in his mercy speaks to Ezekiel saying, I will gather all my sheep, all my people, especially those gone abroad, those gone away, bring them to the native land, gather them together, feed them, put them in the pasture that will be green, and gather all those who are wounded, those who have gone astray, and bandage their wounds. This is the mercy of God. In Romans chapter 5, verses 5 to 11, we come to know that Jesus died not for a good man, but for sinners. Is it easy, you think, that it is easy to die even for the sake of a good person? No, it is very difficult. And how difficult it is to die for the sake of the sinner or sinners. This is our Lord. This is our Savior. In the Gospel reading of Luke 
chapter 15, verses 3 to 7, the Lord gives us an example, a parable. Imagine there is a person with 100 sheep. He loses one. Would he not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go in search of that one? And when he gets it, would he not rejoice calling his neighbors and friends together and say, let us rejoice, let us party, for the lost sheep is returned back. Dear brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus, we come together in the churches. In the name of Jesus, we form a lot of NGOs. We form youth groups. We have PPC members. We have so many groups. But many a times, these groups do not have the heart of Jesus. We are divided on power. We are divided on money. We are divided on wealth and property. Even those who serve Christ. Our leadership is not to be with the majority and say, for the truth, I have got majority with me and neglect the minority, neglect the few opinions. Jesus is giving us an example. The lost sheep is one. If that one is lost, you have lost everything in your responsibility. A church leader or any leader in the society, if he fails to take everyone along, then he must check on his heart. What is the motive of the heart? Is it power? It is prestige, familiarity, name, fame, or it is love and charity towards the responsibility given by Jesus to us. The most sacred heart of Jesus is kind, affectionate. It doesn't count on majority being with you. It counts on the minority who doesn't agree with you who have got different opinion, whom you may call sinners, the downtrodden, to lift them up, to take them along with you, to show them of your heart, your mind. That is heart. In our families, we have daughters-in-laws, we have mothers-in-laws, we have fathers-in-law, and we have all kinds of people staying in a family. But if we live with each other in hatred and do not show affection towards those who need, those who are sidelined, about whom we speak ill and destroy, we need to show compassion and love. Our life is short. We are not going to live here on this earth to eternity. Then why do we show hatred towards one another and live in this hatred. Let us take the mercy of God at this time upon us. The Lord is merciful. If the Lord is someone who has, who has right over our lives and he still forgives the sinners, who are we, who are just temporary members and show authority and destroy one another. Let us introspect. Let us concentrate on the heart of Jesus, who was so human, who was so kind, who was so affectionate, and let us try to be like him. Amen.